Welcome back to the channel. The 2021-22 season is over. We hope that you were successful in all your pools, but for us, the fun begins right now as we attempt to find out which guide was the best for this past season. We start with determining who is our shadow boxing champion. This is a measurement that says if everyone can choose whichever players from certain predefined sets, who will win? It takes draft order and player exclusivity out of the mix while allowing for more entrance than a normal draft style pool. We still mandate that this is a points only pool. We will use a list of boxes that is published publicly. When determining the selection for each pooler, we take the highest ranked player from each box. A valid entry must have a selection from each box. Whatever positional requirements need to be met are defined by the author of the list of boxes. We exclude any goalies, and we also do not allow for any write-in selections. Every player selected adds to the pooler's total score. The pooler with the most points at the end of the season is the winner. In the event of a tie, which is more likely to occur under this type of pool, the title will be shared. Since kicking off this test at the start of the season, we have found three more lists, but they will not be included. What you see are the publications which were able to produce a full and complete entry. Here are the best selections from each of the boxes. The number in parentheses to the right of a player's name indicates the percentage of owners which selected them. Only the first two, not surprisingly, McDavid and Dreisaitl, were unanimous picks. The majority of the rest were not. The best anyone could have done was earn 2,736 points. And our winner is Left Wing Lock. Congratulations to them for winning our first shadow boxing event. McKean's hockey came in second, narrowly passing the slate keeper who ended in third. You can see all the results and how each guide plays based on their points their picks earned. But how did the guides really do? In terms of percentage of points earned versus the maximum possible, Left Wing Lock had an 85% success rate. A total of 16 guides were 80% or better. But is that accurate? Actually, I should say, is that the right way to measure their efficiency? Since not every box will earn the same number of points, a person who picked the 7th best player in box A could earn more points than the 3rd best player in box B. If we were to say each box can earn 8 points, the best player gets 8, the second best seven, the worst only one, then we can truly see how well each guide was in finding the best ranked players per box. You will see only two publications earned an 80% success rate, the Slate Keeper and Left Wing Lock, with the Slate Keeper having a slim advantage. So even though the Slate Keeper came in third place by about 60 points, they actually picked more higher ranked players. Still, it's all about points earned, which is why Left Wing Lock is our shadow boxing champion for the 2021-22 season. Will their success continue in other tests and evaluations which are primarily based on draft order and player exclusivity? We'll find out how well this test is in determining which is the best guide over the next set of videos. Stay tuned!